Alright guys, so we're back with another rundown episode. This thing is going to be quite short, but quite precise as well. So I'm going to show you guys the lighting on this boat and also the sound system. Now, this thing is paired with some serious gear and it makes nights like this really, really enjoyable. And there's other things as well that it makes enjoyable as well, but we'll get to that in a minute. Alright, so I'm going to start at the back with the hardcore work lights. Now, these things, are they've got many uses, not only for when you're in the boat, but also when you're setting up and packing away. When you're back at home and it's night, like tonight, we're going to go back, it's going to be pitch black behind the house there where we've got to try and put the boat. So, we're going to be able to put the work lights on, be able to see what we're doing when we're cleaning it, while we're backing it in, we've got the two side lights and everything like that, so it just makes it so much better. Now, I did have the drone up a bit earlier, so I'll show you guys. So, we've got two switches here. One does the two side lights, and they go directly out to the sides and just make it perfect for what I was trying to tell you guys. And we've also got the light at the back. Now, that lights up the bait board or the workspace while you're out the back. Now, another pretty nifty thing about the light in the middle, having it on a separate switch, is what I can do is I can actually just put it like that and I can angle it out and it literally lights up everything behind the boat there. So, not only while we're here, we can see that island that's right behind us, but we can also chuck it on when we're reversing, if someone else is behind the boat and they can't see anything like that. When you're at the jetty, it's just got so many uses and it's so good having that middle one there on a swivel. Alright, so these three lights here are from Hardcore. Now, the other light that's from Hardcore is up the front there. So, it is a 22 inch light bar that goes directly across this hard top here. This thing lights up directly in front of us. It is perfect. It is actually angled a little bit too far down at the minute. I do need to change it, but it has just got a perfect even spread. You guys will see by the footage that you're looking at right now. And it just makes this boat so, so usable at night, and I love it. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the standard lights that come with this boat, or that boat, all boats need, really. So in here, you've got a cabin light. This thing is just a little yellow standard basic cabin light. Lights up everything in here, lights up the cockpit and stuff like that. Now, we've got two navigation lights on the side of this boat, as you guys will be watching right now. And, of course, up the top, which isn't on, which probably should be on, is the anchor light. All right, now, my favorite bit of the whole boat. There is, this is something, it's probably an unnecessary something that I absolutely love, and I'm not sure I could have another boat without it. So these lights that you're looking at now, the blue ones out the back are so, so sick. They are so bright, they attract fish, they look awesome, mainly the bit that they look awesome, that's the bit I love. And it just sets the whole scene at night. It is, oh, I, I'm in love with them, as you guys can see. I don't really have another sales pitch apart from the fact that they're just sick. They are so cool. So those lights are actually from Marine Night Lighting Australia. Now, if you guys want to go over on my Instagram, I think I've tagged them a couple of times, you'll be able to see, but Marine Lighting Australia, they're a little offshoot from Total Mining and Marine, who are legends, who have helped me out so much, and they are so, so good down there. Dan and Rochelle, appreciate you guys a heap. All right, now coming down to the wet sounds sound system. This thing absolutely cranks. We've got four eight inch speakers around this boat that pack a huge punch. Now, this is another thing that's probably unnecessary that I absolutely have fallen in love with. Having tunes where you're cranking out to a very, very long distance place like to the islands or you guys would have seen the last episode, we were out at Mac City and there was mackerel everywhere, but that place was about 60 kilometers offshore. So it takes a couple hours to get there. And if you don't have tunes, it can get quite boring and restless, and especially on the way home when you've just had a cracking day and you've got to head back to the ramp. Can get quite boring. So when you've got the tunes cranking, it just adds for that little bit more excitement. Now, since we're on the lighting topic though, this is the best bit about this wet sounds. I ain't never had a girl like this. Roll to the chorus, bro. And I can't talk about sex every day on the track, so I talk with the shit I feel. I might give you flowers and kisses, not just picking this shit, bro. I might be up on a late night one night, slapping a movie and come, let's chill. I remember the day that I met you. No way could I ever forget that. I would go back home with a DLR train, just missing the fact you left, man. I'm texting, bro, like yo. You man text me back like, oh, on. I said, bro, after all the whole stages, I'm ready. I found the one. Fake it, cost me. So we have four wet sound speakers up front. So they're the Revo 8 XS speakers. They're eight inch, they're absolutely mint. They pack a beautiful punch and I highly recommend them thing. Anyway guys, so while I'm on the wet sound stuff, I literally just remembered that the guys from Wet Sounds Australia have given me a promo code. So you can put the code Vogler, V-O-G-L-E-R and you can receive a little discount at the checkout. I'm pretty sure it might be 10, 10%, I'm pretty sure anyway, which is quite a good saving on this gear. It is quality stuff, honestly. From the bottom of my heart, you won't be disappointed. It is so, so good. 
All right, so while we're on lighting here, I'll show you guys a little switch panel we've got. All lights up, obviously, so you can see it, which is pretty cool. Now, that is the sounder there. We've got the Raymarine Axiom Pro 9-inch. And, of course, over here, we've got the mapping with a few little bugs on it. They don't actually come with the sounder, but they're pretty cool. Uh, that is a Lowrance Elite FS9 <laughs> sounder, which I just use for my maps. So, yeah, I've just had so many questions about this boat, so I'm going to try and do a few little more rundown videos and stuff like that on key components just to show you guys exactly what's on this boat because it is pretty cool there is a lot of stuff and it's very very hard to cover on one rundown video how much this thing actually has so that is what i'm going to do anyway i'm going to leave everything in the description below so you guys can go click on that have a bit more of an in-depth look if you want to go and buy something or you want to do your research on something i'm not even sure i'll also put that discount code for the wet sounds gear below so if you or you know anyone who's trying to buy wet sounds they can take advantage of that because it's a bargain um and yeah apart from that if you guys have any questions please make sure you leave them below in the comment section i'll try and get to them as best as i possibly can anyway guys just earlier i got the drone up and it is an absolute glamour night must may i add but we got the drone up and it just looks so so cool this boat this is the first time i've actually had all the lights on display so enjoy this footage you would have seen a little bit of it earlier this is going to be a little bit of a longer montage just to convince you guys that lights are very very important on a boat enjoy guys 